Ram Eco Diesel perspective. Let's check it out. Hey, what's going on, J Ride Reviews Nation? I got yet another epic review for you guys. So today I'm inside of a Dodge Ram. And we all know Dodge Rams have been around for a very, very long time. Best seller. Notorious for the Hemi engine in them in the later generations. But today, today I have something special. This is a uh, Longhorn edition, which is top notch, way up there. As you can see, wood grain gripping, chipping on toe folds back in the day. Yep, yeah, never mind. Y'all know nothing about that early 2000s rap. But anyway, uh, today I have a Dodge Ram with the Eco Diesel in it. This will be my first time driving one with this diesel engine in it. And uh, we're going to check it out. We're going to see what's the difference, what's the hype, what's the reality. Diesel. Hmm. And a Ram. Let's check it out. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening or good night whenever you're seeing this video. What's going on, J. Rod Reviews Nation? So, what is the difference between a gas-powered Dodge Ram 1500 and the Eco Diesel? Let's take it for a spin. I'm gonna give you my driving perspective. Go over a couple of the features I see here. First things first. This is a Longhorn edition that I have the honor to be able to drive today. Thank you to Werner Hyundai, Werner Genesis again. Uh, for supporting the brand, supporting what I'm doing, and we'll go from there. So first things first, as long as you have the keys in your possession, I'm going to throw them here in the center console. Let's fire this up. You don't have to wait for glow plugs and all that stuff to warm up and all that stuff. All you have to do is just push the push button start. That's it. So first things first, the view in here is amazing. All the way around, the materials are amazing. I love these uh, camel colored seats. I just love everything about this particular Ram. It's very, very nice. Put the seat belt on for safety. You got to turn the lights on for safety. And uh, you got navigation. You got a reverse camera. I'll show you guys real quick right here. You got everything that you need inside of here. This is this very nice. You got a sunroof up top. Very, 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 very nice. Um, wood grain gripping. Tipping on four foes, riding on them bows, something like that back in the day. But you do have uh, heated seats, you have cool seats, you have a heated steering wheel, you have park assist, you have everything that you need, everything you could desire in a pickup truck. So let's go ahead and get out here on the road and uh, check it out. I've driven several Hemi powered um, Rams, so I'm super excited to be able to drive a diesel. It's operation, it's very, very quiet, whisper quiet. And um, I'll have the uh, engine specs down in the description once I get back. And uh, just enjoy the, enjoy the ride. I did notice that it does have an electronic power steering uh, unit on it. Um, but uh, yeah. Let me see what year this is. This is a 14 and it has amazing miles on it. It only has 50,000 miles on a 14. So yeah, this is this is a, definitely an epic review here. I'm gonna change up my route today and uh, go from there. Get these mirrors adjusted safety first. Let's tip these ones on the right side correctly. And we'll just go from there. So right off the right off the bat here, uh, I'll test out the uh, the turn circle. See how wide or or tight it is. 
and then go from there. Right, here we go. Turns good. Wow. Impressive. Okay. That was very impressive. Huh? Oops. The wrong button there, didn't I? Yeah, very nice ride quality is typical Dodge. I'm um, not sure if this particular unit has the air suspension on it, but it, it is very compliant, very nice feel to it. And uh, let's see what kind of acceleration we can get out of this thing. And even under hard acceleration, it's still quiet. Very impressive. Very, very impressed. I'm sure you guys will too will be impressed as well the brakes are very nice nice firm feel to them y'all hang tight red light special all right j riders had a little camera malfunction it just decided to freeze up on me for some reason i got to the last red light and froze up for real but uh i'm back and um one thing i can say is that I like to be transparent and keep it real is that it doesn't have the power of the mighty hemi um this is a v6 turbo um it has smooth operation it is peppy but it doesn't have that same like i said it doesn't have that grunt of the v8 so if i must say that's that's pretty much the, the main difference that i see um in this vehicle and it's not a big deal. You do get really, really good gas mileage. Um, and it does, this one does have the DEF, folks, uh, diesel exhaust fluid. So just keep that in mind as an extra maintenance call, cost, because that, that fluid, of course, you, you'll have to fill it up. It doesn't burn frequently. Um, I know when I used to drive trucks, it would probably be every five or six fill-ups that you would want to fill it up sometimes more than that so this is something is to think about um something that you would not have to worry about at all with um with the gas engine and another thought as well for you guys to think about is the cost of diesel um i just passed a station and it was four dollars and 84 83 cents and i think the last time i bought premium i really don't be paying attention because it's a write-off hint hint for me but um yeah for my premium non-ethanol that i run in my turbo uh vehicle is somewhere 367 ish uh give or take at murphy usa so just think about the cost of diesel as opposed to gas as well it's an extra consideration but other than that folks um i'm just gonna continue this drive um and give you a perspective of driving it through the city um it fits through the lanes just fine it's not overbearing um it's still basically the same platform as a typical 1500 other than the other than the uh the engine so there's something to think about So today I just wanted to take this one on a slightly different route that, than I usually do, just so I can get more on-road feel with these with this particular unit. Um, I'm, this particular road here in my city is kind of twisty a little bit, uh, tight. It's, it's narrow. It's not as wide as a let's say a four-lane road, and I just wanted to get a feel of how the the overall feel of this vehicle 
uh, to show you guys visually, you know, how this would feel on a tight, windy road. Um, right now we're kind of on a on a straight section, but a little while ago, you can kind of see the little curves. Um, the, the rim never feels uncomposed out here. It's flat. Um, the steering has a nice heavy feel to it. So it's at home, it's at home on the road and I wouldn't take this particular one off road, but some people do. Um, but uh, I would imagine it would feel just as fine out there off road as on road. The on road experience is what usually most of us are gonna be doing with these trucks like this nowadays. And um, it's very impressive. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Acceleration run with the turbo diesel. Here we are from a dig. So yeah, it's um, I would say this engine is really peppy in the mid range. Um, probably usually around the when the turbo is spooling up. Um, I say between 2,000 and 3,000 RPMs is when you uh, when you really can feel how peppy this engine is. So it's just something to think about once again. Um, it doesn't have the power of the of the Hemi, but I would say it'd be adequate for day-to-day -day use as a, as a daily driver. And um, I think you guys would be just as much as impressed as I am with it. So, in conclusion, the Dodge Ram Eco Diesel is very very impressive. Uh, if you guys are looking for one, I have one. It's right here at Werner Genesis in Tallahassee, Florida. Tell them you saw it on J-Rod Reviews. And till the next time, God bless you. God keep you. It's hit that subscribe button as well for more epic reviews.